How you guys doing today? Almighty Garage Big Ranch here talking. Fall is in a couple days. If y'all didn't know, fall is coming. But anyway, here in Ohio, pretty nice day. It's gonna be in the 70s all next week. So I got about two, three weeks to work on what I needed done. And for winter, I want to have a quad and have some fun on. And uh, you guys know about this quad here from my nephew. And the engine uh, need to rebuild the valves and stuff, which I got. But I also got a brand new 125 engine I got off Amazon. Uh, it was on sale. I think I paid like, I don't remember, 150 bucks, something like that. 180 free shipping. I tried to get on there and buy another one, and uh, they're over $200 now, like almost 300 So we're going to throw this brand new engine, 125, try to anyway. It should bolt up. Chinese engine, Chinese quad. So, we're gonna have some fun this winter. Because um, you know, many bikes that don't do good in winter, uh, go karts are fine in winter. But this is the most easy right now because of the big go kart. I'm gonna have to do a full engine swap. I'm gonna put a 420 on it, and that's just too much work. And uh, I got this frame, another frame. It won't work on this frame. I know for sure it'll work on the other frame. Uh, but this frame's a little nicer, cooler. Uh, so we're gonna see. I'm pretty sure it'll bolt up. So here's the, the top bolt here. It goes there, and then this back one bolts right there. So it just tilts up. This is a horizontal engine. So it'll look something like, it's hard to do one hand, but one will go there, one will go back there, and then it'll sit like that. Um, but there is a piece that connects the frame from here to here. And I got it. Uh, let's see. We've got two engine bolts. I got a box of parts that came with this quad. But all I think I need right now is this. So this bolts on there somehow for the frame to stiffen up. So how does it go? Oh, I see how it goes. So these two holes here, go to them two holes that are spaced out. Uh, I wanna say thank you to my nephew for leaving these bolts in here, because usually they don't do stuff like that. The two bolts, you can see, it goes to them two bolts there, and it'll mount like that. Something like that, and just stiffens the frame up. I don't know why that's off there. Maybe to get the old engine out or something, but so we're gonna get that bolted back on and then uh get this mounted up this this is how you connect it uh it's got a four pin thing here which will probably cut them and uh just collar coat the wires together there's one two three four five There is six on this one, but one we are not using, which I believe is this one. Um, because it would have went to this here. This is for this engine. The other engine for this has reverse neutral and all that. That's what the switch is for. That's what this wire is. It would go back in this little hole in the engine right here. When you change gears, that spins and hits the magnets. So, right now we're going to put that engine in there. And uh, I got a new carb I'll throw on it. See if we can't get a ride today out of this thing. See how the tires and rims and steering and all that is. As you can see, it's a little loose. But yeah. Try to get this thing done and ready to ride today. Not today, tomorrow. Well, I'll go back to work tomorrow, so. But for you guys that are new to the channel, this is the original extreme ATV.com. These were made for uh, racing style quad, Chinese quads, all aluminum frame, chrome uh, A arms. They were made so people can afford quads. Looks like a 400EX. 
sits real low and it's wide so let me get the engine mounted in there and i'll bring you guys back and get this uh this thing bolted up Okay, we got the engine in there. Got the two bolts in it. The bolt there. The bolt in the back. And this quad and engine does have spots where you can come through the bottom and bolt four more holes straight into the bottom of the engine block. But that's not necessary if you got both of these bolts here. Um, if I would only had this top one, then I would have done that, or just had this one or whatever. You always want a top one, and then you can do the bottom four if you ain't got that back one. Um, but yeah, we're not going to use the bottom four right now. They do line up. You just go straight through the bottom here into the engine block. You'd have to take off this little vent hose breather holder that went right there. Little clip just holds the hose, no biggie. Um, we'll get them tightened down. I'm going to actually slide this back one out and put some washers on the other side. Get it tightened down. Figure out wiring. And uh, I went on Flea Bay a while back and bought a bunch of different adapters. I might use one on this because you see we ain't got much room here. Um, let me find the adapter that came with the engine. This is the box the engine came with. There it is. Oh, looky there. That's cool. I was in there searching, searching, searching in my parts for uh, bolts for the carburetor, the intake. It looks like they sent one, two, three, four, six bolts. You only need four, so that's awesome. And the rings in there for the gasket. It's come with styrofoam in it. And uh, well, I had this in my storage. You can see a mouse chewed a hole in it. And, uh, there's mouse shit in there. Good thing I didn't get none of the wires or nothing. Went last night and got out of my store. Just been over there for about two months. Here is the carburetor. You can do it like that. And the carburetor coming back, which I don't like doing. Um, so I'm going to put mine out like this. But I have these things. They're little round disc things that bolt on here. Then you can bolt this on facing any way you want, which is pretty cool. Or I have another intake. Let me see if I brought it out here. I guess I didn't. I'll have to go get it. Well, I got a bunch of different adapters, but we're going to do the wiring next and uh, hook the thing up to it and make sure the wiring is good. And we got spark and all that before I put the carburetor on. Should be riding this thing today, guys. The chain, I'm hoping the chain, it should be long enough. All oh, it should be fine. Give me a thumbs up and like if you're enjoying this video. Alright, guys, I got the body pulled off. There was one zip tie holding it right here in the middle. I uh, pulled the body off. Had to pull this exhaust off uh, in order to twist it a little bit. Get Slide it down under there. I got it on there. It's got to tighten them up. The engine fully tightened in. So I'm going to tighten the exhaust nuts up and um, tighten this back up. I might. I got two brand new wiring kits. I bought when I bought the other two quads I got because the guy told me I need wiring kits. So I got two of them. I might just snip all this old wiring off and throw that one on quick. Um, it's a lot easier and faster to do that than sit and try to figure out somebody else's mess. Because um, I can throw them new wiring kits on and wire it up no problem. Trying to go through and figure out what's what on the wiring that was there is going to be a lot harder. Um, I know mostly everything is. I just don't know what they got these two. There's a big red one and a little one and a big green one and a little one. That runs on this same one, it comes up here, comes out here. 
I thought it went to the solenoid. The solenoid's already hooked up. I thought it went to the battery, but then there's these ends here, which this, that's the starter. They kept the original starter wire on there, which is the same thing as that. So I'll be taking that one off or I might just unhook it, unhook the one that came with the starter. See, it's a little bolt clip goes on there. Slide in right there. This is ground, so you know what? I'm guessing that is that them do go to the battery. But we'll try it. Um, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna tighten the exhaust nuts up, take the starter wire off, put the existing one on it. Um, you take this ground. It's green ground. I usually just ground it to this bolt right here. So I'll pop that out and put that in there. Um, then this one's got a four prong. I wanted to cut them and uh, splice them in directly. So I'm gonna have to rewire all that. Then we should be able to, should be good to hook a jump box here and uh, see if we got key. So, I'll bring you back. Alright guys, so, I got my, I took off the new starter cable that came with it. Put the old one on, that was on the wiring harness. Got my ground there. There's only three wires that need to be hooked up on these Chinese quads, dirt bikes, go-karts, all that. Um, so, you got a green with the white stripe. You got a blue with the white stripe. And you got a red or a black with a red stripe. That's the only three you need to turn this thing over and get power. Um, we might have to have the break in. Sometimes on these, you got to have the break in before it'll start. So. I'm gonna hook a jump pack back to here and we'll see if she turns over. All right guys, so hook my jump pack to it. I was hitting the button, did not get anything. Um, so I don't know, but I could jump it from the solenoid and it would turn over slow. My jump pack is almost dead. I did unplug the safety, neutral safety switch um unplug the rear brake maybe we'll switch there so i don't know if it's just this button or what but i'm on a time crunch so i'm going to quick zip all this uh old wiring off and throw a brand new kit on it we should be good to go i'll bring you back when i get that on that's how easy it is guys it took me about two minutes take all that off once i get the other engine rebuilt i ain't going to keep this and uh We'll be able to go through it and see exactly what's going on with it. Could just be a faulty switch here also. Like I said, I don't have time to deal with it. Um, not sure if I'm going to be able to reuse this. Um, this will no longer be any good. And uh, probably just got to switch that. Solenoid rectifier, all that stuff. Kit comes with it all. So pretty simple to do honestly it's mostly all color coded and you just plug your stuff in and I can get the battery down here and uh, I'll bring you back and we're ready to try it hopefully got better results all right guys so there's the wiring it's all hooked up the new wiring um, it's very very simple it took me about three minutes to hook the new wiring up I right, said so it's all color coded. Um, there's a guy on YouTube. It's called Prasco Boys Garage. Um, he has a complete full video on how to uh, wire one of these in. Step by step guide. Uh, amazing dude. He has a lot of videos on Chinese quads, scooters, and stuff. Uh, I'll go check him out.
Praska Boys Garage on YouTube. Step by step. Very, very simple. So, I'm going to go get my jump box. Hook one here. And, where's my ground? Hook one here. And, uh, we should be in business. Still only got three wires hooked up here that were bypass or two yellow wires. You know, I need a main three wires. Got my starter wire hooked back up. Going to my solenoid, my battery wire going to my solenoid. So we should be good to go. Still got to take off this and uh, then put all the wiring on the ATV. But just to test it, you can do it like this. Alrighty, guys. I got my jump box hooked up here. My negative, my positive. Um, keys on. Let's flip this on. I noticed in this wiring harness, it don't have the two wires that go to the brake switch that you have to usually hold together to bypass. So, this little jinky, I, I must have bought the cheapest kits on, on Amazon. A little rinky dink thing, but should hit this button and have power. Ready? Got power. That's good. It's real good. My jump pack is just completely dead almost. Well, it's a good sign. I'm going to get all this tidied up, kneaded up. Get this off of here. Get that one put on. Get it all ready. Throw a carb on it. Uh, I guess we could have checked for spark. I'm sure it's got spark. Well, actually, this has got to be grounded. So it's not going to have spark. So I'll put that over there. Got to get that old one off. But yeah, there we go. Got the old start button and kill button off. Got the new one on. Got all the wiring ran. Um, I bought these stainless steel zip ties. Never used them before. Bought them for something else. I'm out of regular plastic zip ties, but I'm going to get some zip ties and knead it and clean it up a little more. But uh, there's all the wiring. It's all done. Now I got to go find the carburetor. Put it on, hook it up, and... Uh, We'll give her a test start. So what she sounds like. I had to hook my lawnmower battery up to it. My other battery won't be here till tomorrow, but as long as we're getting spark, I didn't check to see if we're getting spark, but everything should be hooked up right. It should fire up. I put I filled the carb up with gas in the bottle. Got my lawnmower battery sitting there and probably have to hold it. Hit the button. See, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh yeah. Well, there you guys have it. I got my lawnmower battery hooked up to it. Uh, I ordered the battery there tomorrow off Amazon. I threw some uh juice at it, filled the bowl up, got that clamp down, hit the button, it's running good, sounds good. I don't want to get no throttle because the battery's just sitting there and I want to, I got to tighten some stuff up, that's the chain guard rattling. There you have it. Chinese Typhon engine swap and I was looking on eBay right now guys you can get a three speed with reverse semi-automatic three speed with reverse 125 engine right now for 175 bucks free shipping on eBay um, I'm probably going to order another one with reverse throw it on here throw this engine on another frame I got and sell it I'd love to have reverse uh, plans are to rebuild the engine that came with this but the original Chinese aftermarket parts now don't work uh, aftermarket Chinese parts that you buy do not work with these original engines the Typhoons 
Uh, the bolt pattern, the heads are different. So can't get uh, actual parts for the original engine. I might have gotten in touch with a guy that has a head, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. But for now, it's one something ride uh, during winter. There's Cash Man. Say hi. Say hi, Cash Man. Cash. Say hi. Say hi to the people. Said I'm out of here. We did have something smoking over here. Might be just the exhaust breaking in or might have had that wire line up against it. Let me see. No, ain't that. So just the exhaust smoking. Well, there you have it. Tires need air. So, wear the tires up tomorrow when I get home from work. Throw the plastics on it. I gotta find the seat and the tank. I know where the seat's at. The tank should be with it in there. Tighten some stuff down, and uh, we'll do a first ride tomorrow. That's awesome. Sounds good. Let's check the oil. I wasn't sure. I've never broke one of these engines in before, so. And I wasn't sure how much oil to put in it. Ooh. Well, it's just really clean. It's all the way up to the. It's all the way up to there. Get the flashlight look in there. Yeah, it wasn't bad guys at all. Small. 125, a uh, little small engine, but it'll be good enough to play around with. Please like, subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up, comment what you like, if you've ever seen one of these quads or, or what. You can go to YouTube and type in uh, Extreme ATV. This is a called a 125 Typhoon. But uh, there's a couple of them on YouTube. There's not many. Pretty cool. I love how the frame's all aluminum and... Uh, chrome and that big thick axle and uh actually guys this can be turned into there's a video i was watching on youtube a guy explained it. he said these things are highly highly desirable this can easily be changed into a three-wheeler you can put a single wheel here or you can take this off and put it on a pit bike um he was saying something about it how it's got this support here then how the bearing how it's got these uh bearing uh neck things right here i don't know if you type it in you guys can watch it and he explains it better but yeah and he said you can take this off and put a a um dirt bike front end on it so it'd be a three-wheeler that way or take the rear end off put it on a dirt bike whatever you want to do he said these things are highly desirable so I'm glad I got it, and uh, I want to give a shout out to my nephew, cousin Ed, and uh, there it is, big wrench here, Almighty Garage. Thank you guys for watching. Please give me a like, subscribe, share. It should be ready to go. Got my lawnmower battery hooked up to it. Go, Dad. Got to tighten some stuff down. Just the carburetor. Got it running, Dad. Got my lawnmower battery hooked up to it. <laughs>